insert cool sound effects to accompany the animation. This is going to be the first episode of your video visual video editing. Hey, it's Anfa from Anfamusic.com, and today I want to talk about Cake Studio. Cake Studio is a project that delivers a lot of great uh, Linux audio software. Not only for Linux, because uh, custom programs, applications that uh, are, were created and are maintained uh, are also available for Windows and Mac sometimes. For example, Carla, which is a multi-type plugin host that I'm using right now to process my voice. Should be able to see the meters. Yeah, this is my voice. It's going for Carla. So I want to talk about Cake Studio because I think it's something that new people to Linux audio should find out about because it's the place where you can find the newest and greatest in Linux audio and get it very quick and get it going. And also uh, it saves you time on configuring stuff like how to get Jack, Pulse Audio and Alsa programs to work together. Well, Cake Studio solves that because it has scripts and it has applications that put all of that together so it works nicely, smoothly, and you have easy control over what it does. I'm not going to talk about all of that in this video because I just want to introduce you to installing stuff. And how to use it is, a, is another topic. <laughs> first you install it, then you worry. The first thing about Cake Studio that I use primarily now is the repositories. And these are the sources of software available for Debian and Ubuntu-based systems that you can install, and then you will have a bunch of packages available that were not available previously. And this will include some very, very nice audio plugins that you can get otherwise, but it's difficult. And the easiest way to get the top-notch plugins for Linux audio is to install Cake Studio repositories. So just grab it and use it. When I have to install a new system, uh, what I do is I install something like Ubuntu or Linux Mint. Right now I'm based on Linux Mint 18 KDE 5. Uh, and I got to like KDE because I was using Cake Studio, which also provides a live distribution that you can get here. Downloads. And there's a live DVD that you can download. And then, if you're running Windows, uh, you're going to need this program, which is called Unit Bootin. All the links are going to be in the description. And you can then use that to write the downloaded ISO file to a USB stick. So you can then put it into your computer and boot it up with Linux without modifying your hard disk contents, without erasing your hard disks or messing up your Windows installation if you need it. So Unit Bootin is is the tool for doing this. Okay, I've been using Cake Studio Live DVD for a long time, but it's got a little bit outdated. It's 2016, the December is coming very close, and it's already almost three years uh, old. But it's still usable, and it's great for trying out what it is, what it does, what software is available. So to install the repositories, once more you go to repositories about, and there's the instruction. And once you did that, Open Synaptic or another package manager that you're using. And you can search for packages named KX Studio dash meta. Now, KX Studio meta uh, are meta packages. These are packages that don't like contain software. They just link to other packages. So you install one meta package and you install like 20 different packages with different programs. What I do is I install everything that is audio related. So I or almost everything. Like I install Cake Studio Meta Audio. And we can see what does it depend on. There's also Meta Meta Audio plugins, which gives you a bunch of synthesizers and effects. And it's also very good to install Meta Plugins Collection because that's a bunch of very good LV2 plugins. And there's Meta Audio plugins LV2. I don't know if they are like complementary, if it doesn't matter if you install one and two. And I don't, I'm not sure why are there are so many different, but it doesn't hurt if you install all of them, really. Uh, I didn't install Alats, but DSSI and VAMP because I like, doesn't, didn't feel like, because this is a fairly new system. Okay, uh, if you're also feeling adventurous, you might do KX Studio Desktop. And this will um, install a lot of stuff and it's going to transform your desktop. So uh, be cautious about it because like don't do this if you have like an old system that you're used to 
do it on a fresh installation if you're like wanting to do this because it can be kind of dangerous. Not dangerous that it's going to break your computer or something, but it might just change the way your system is configured uh, in such a manner that if you're not prepared to do that, it might be unpleasant and hard to revert. I never tried that. Like I, I wasn't installing Cake Studio Desktop in a long time. I'm just using Cake Studio audio meta packages and that's all. All right, so this is installing meta packages. Once you do that, you have the software. All right, I think this is it for this video. It's, it's a short one. Uh, I wanted to show you what Cake Studio is and give you the taste of like what you get when you install it and why it's good to know about it because it's the source of the best and newest Linux audio software. And I use it a lot. If you want to learn anything else, if you have any questions, comments, uh, suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.